Hey everyone, this is Mr. Escamilla, and today I'm going to be guiding you through Adobe After Effects Practice Exam 2 for Geometrics. And so to get started, go ahead and click the Start button. And on this screen, make sure you have it set to Training Mode, and you can go ahead and click Start Test. I like Training Mode because it gives you that Help button. Here for this first question, you're matching terms. So hue is a color and a shade of a color. Saturation is the intensity of color in an image. RGB, red, green, blue. Contrast is the difference of color and brightness in an image. Vibrance intensifies more muted colors and leaves already intense colors the same. In this question, you need to create a new shape layer by using the headphones icon vector layer. That's this illustrator file that you see here. You're going to do this by right clicking, going to create and click create shape from vector layer. Then it tells us to delete the original headphone vector layer. That's that Illustrator file here. So you're going to delete that because we don't need it. We essentially have two copies of that visual, and we're going to create the uh, newly created one. Next, we're going to add a new solid by going to Layer, New Solid. This is how you can just make a canvas that is whatever size you want. You can make this whatever color you want, by the way, and then you can say OK. And it tells us to place the solid underneath the headphone. So just drag it down once. If you drag it down underneath everything, it will count that wrong. And that should be the correct answer. Moving on to question three, we're creating a new composition with a 1280 by 720p frame size and 24 frames per second. We're not going to have any clips in there. We're just going to create a blank composition. So click Composition, New Composition. We're going to adjust the width to 1280. And then the height will be 720. For the frame rate right here, you can click this little drop down, and 24 is a standard frame rate. You can go ahead and click OK. And that should be the correct answer for task three. Moving on to task four, we're going to change the label color of the jellyfish layer to blue. So you're going to click the label color square on the jellyfish.mp4 layer in the timeline. That's right here. And by default here, it's set to aqua. We're going to go change that to blue. And this can just help you organize your layers uh, just by changing the color that it has next to it. Moving on to task five, we are going to lower the opacity of the space.mp4 clip to 50%. So you're going to open the space mp4 drop down here, open the transform drop down, and right here where it's at 100, change that to 50%, and you'll notice this gets a little dimmer. In the composition, we're going to change the order of the layers, so that way they are completely visible in the video. So the local 70 text layer needs to be the top layer in the timeline. The blue shape layer will be second. Because if the blue layer is on top, now you can't see the word 70. And if traffic's on the bottom, this looks good. Looks like a little news intro. Moving on to task 7, it tells us to remove tonight from the text layer, including the little space here. So we'll get rid of that. I'm going to deselect and then go ahead and click Next. Task 8 is to change the paragraph alignment of the existing text layer in the composition to right alignment. So we're going to select this text, 
Then in the paragraph panel, which if you don't see it open, you can go to window and click paragraph here. We need to change this to right alignment right here. Then I'm going to deselect and then click next. Task nine wants us to animate the existing text layer in the composition to whirl in at two seconds. So we need to go to two seconds into the timeline. You can type 200. Then we need to open the effects and presets panel. And this is an actual effect that you're going to look up called whirl in. And you're going to drag and drop the whirl in effect onto the text layer in the timeline, just like this. And now we have this effect, which looks pretty cool. Go ahead and click next, and that will be the correct answer for task nine. Moving on to task 10. It tells us to extend the space MP4 clip to its full length. That's easy. All we need to do is drag this all the way to the end. And that should be the correct uh, answer for task 10 was the easiest one. <laughs> We're going to use the polygon tool to create a polystar shape layer in the composition. So for this one, we're going to click and hold the rectangle tool to show more shapes. And if you don't see your tools here, uh, you can go to window and click tools and then they should pop up. I'm going to hold down here and go select that polygon tool. And then with no layers selected, I'm going to click and drag anywhere in the composition in order to create a polygon shape. And that will be the correct answer for task 11. Next, we're going to identify what each video editing technique is used for. Jump cuts, eliminate space between thoughts and clean up pauses. B-roll provides context to tell a story. The 180 degree rule maintains a consistent environment. I really like B-roll in documentaries. You sort of see the environment around, gives you more details. Here we just need to save the project to the desktop as stars. So we're gonna go to file, click save as. In the Save As dialog box, we're going to go to Desktop, and we're going to name this Stars. Then click Save here at the bottom, or you could click Return or Enter on your keyboards, and that should be the correct answer for number 13. Moving on to task 14. Here, we're going to export a single frame from the timeline in PNG sequence format to the After Effects folder. So we need to make sure this timeline is selected. We're going to click the composition menu at the top. We're going to go to save frame as. And here, you're going to click file. It's going to ask where do you want to uh, save this to you need to make sure this is in the geometrics folder, you have to click on your hard drive here, go to Mac HD, library application support. Adobe, I'm just following this pathway here, by the way, I'm going to click CEP, extensions, geometrics templates, it's a long, long path. And I think we actually need to save it inside of this After Effects CC Lita folder. So once you get there, um, we are going to go ahead and click save. So we've saved this in the correct spot. Now, uh, we're going to click the blue text next to the output module right here because we need to change the format from a Photoshop sequence to a PNG sequence right here. And then we'll click OK. And then it tells us in the help directions to click next to output two. Uh, if you didn't save it in this spot earlier, make sure that you do that. But one other thing that we need to do here is name this train picture and then click save. 
then you're going to render this. And then you can go ahead and click Next. It's kind of a tricky one because it has to be saved in a particular spot. You have to name it a very particular thing and you have to change the format. Here, we're gonna remove the glow effect from the text layer. So we need to bring up our uh, effects. We can um, do that by going to our effect controls, which is right here. And all you do is click on that, click delete, and that's it. We have deleted the glow effect from the text. We're halfway through here. Now we're gonna rename the traffic.mp4 to cars in the timeline without changing the file name in the project window. So to do that, you have to right click the clip in the timeline here and click rename. And then you're gonna type cars and push enter. And that's it. Moving on to task 17. It says here to duplicate the train layer in the timeline. That's easy, just click the train, click Command D. The shortcut is Command D. Alternatively, you could uh, right click and say duplicate layer, I think, or it's like edit duplicate layer. Yeah, you could click edit duplicate, um, but I like that shortcut, Command D. Now we're going to toggle off the lens flare effect on the traffic.mp4 clip in the sequence. So we need to click on the traffic. And it doesn't tell us to delete the effect. It tells us to turn it off. So you need to go to the effect controls and click on this FX button. It'll turn off that lens flare. Moving on to task 19. It tells us without changing the center position, set the scale of the Waves MP4 clip to 150. That's easy. You just click on Waves.mp4, hit the S for scale, and change this to 150. And um, to see the effect of that, actually, I'm going to undo what I just did. So it's back at 100. This is the Waves clip. This rock and water. If we change it to 150, you'll notice we zoom into that. And so that is what we're doing on this question. We're just making that video background bigger. All right, delete all image files from the project panel. Well, we have three. We have cars, city, and news. So if you hold command, you're going to select these three, Cars, City, News. Hit the delete key on your keyboard, and you'll get a pop-up that says, are you sure you want to delete these three? You're going to say delete, and then you can go ahead and move on to task 21. Next question here tells us to shorten the composition down to five seconds. We're going to make sure that our timeline is selected, and we're going to go to our composition settings. Click composition, go to composition settings. Then you're going to change the duration, which right now is set to 20. You're going to change that to 5. And then you can go ahead and click OK. This just became much shorter. And we have just a few questions left. We're going to add an adjustment layer with an equalized color correction over the train MP4. So with the timeline selected, we're going to click Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Ensure that the adjustment layer and the timeline panel are selected, which they are. We're going to click Effect at the top of the screen, hover over Color Correction, and we're going to select Equalize, which is right here. And this will add an effect to the adjustment layer that makes it brighter. And you might be wondering, well, why don't we just add it to the train layer? It can be quite useful to use adjustment layers because it'll affect all the things under it. So if you decided to add two or three more graphics, they'll all have this same effect because it's underneath that adjustment layer. Almost to the finish line here, we're on task 23. We're gonna drag and match each animation term 
to its definition. So easing is motion that starts slowly and accelerates or starts quickly and de-accelerates. And so that's going to be uh, easing. Staging is using motion to guide attention to what is important within a scene. Using motion to guide attention, that's staging. Staging ahead action is drawing frame by frame from start to finish. And then pose to pose is drawing the first frame and the end frame. Moving on to task 24, we're going to place all footage files in the project into a new folder, and we're going to name the new folder clips. So over here, we need to click the create new folder at the bottom of the project panel, which is right here. It's the create a new folder button. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And I'm going to name this folder clips, and then I'm going to drag the faucet drip, the jellyfish, and the waves clips by holding command. That's how you can select multiple clips. And then I'm going to drag them into the clips bin. And then I'll go ahead and click next. We have five questions left. We're going to arrange the storyboard images in the correct order to visually communicate the plant growing. So first we have to start digging. Then we plant the seed and then it grows. So it's kind of already in order here. Just drag those over to the right and we can go ahead and move on to task 26. It says here, which of the following correctly defines a composition? A composition is an edited video segment of an entire project. So that would be here. Um, it's also files are not ordered numerically in a timeline unless they are named that way. Footage pieces are added to a composition. Blueprints for editing. Uh, blueprints for editing are rules which are not stored in After Effects. But between all these, I'm going to say edited video segment. Task 27 says, which of the options below is a group of images or illustrations that represents each shot in a motion picture with descriptive text? Well, a storyboard is a group of images or illustrations that represents each shot in a motion picture with descriptive text. So that would be the correct answer for this one. Task 28, what is the main purpose of the effects and presets panel? It's used for browsing and applying effects. Got some pretty easy ones here. What is the main purpose of the effect controls panel? That is where you adjust and animate the effects that you just applied from the effects panel. So effects panel, you browse for the effects, you look for what you want to apply, and then the effect controls, you alter them. Here, we're going to time reverse the train.mp4 layer. It says here in the timeline, I'm going to go with this or option. It says right click the train.mp4 layer. We're going to hover over time, which is right here. And we're going to say uh, time reverse layer, which will reverse the order of the video clip. So now the train is moving backwards. And that should be the correct answer for task 30, our last and final question. And so that should lead you to ace this exam. This was, I think, easier than the first one. You can go ahead and submit that. And that'll uh, get you everything you need to pass the second practice exam. I wish you all best of luck on your real certification exams, and I hope this all helped you uh, pass your practice exams. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. You can also consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see. I typically post movie reviews and unboxing videos of home entertainment. You can also check out my website, EskimoTV.net. Until next time, this is Jason Escamilla, or as my students call me, Mr. Escamilla from EskimoTV.net.